Hello again, friends. We are rapidly approaching, if not by the time I post this video, already in my favorite season, and that is summer. I am a sucker for summer. I love warm weather. I love being outdoors. And like many of you, I love swimming during the summer. Beaches, lakes, rivers, pools, you name it, I love being in the water. However, <laughs> swimming and piercings, there's a lot to talk about when it comes to this. So with swimming season upon us, let's get into it. Now, if your piercings are healed, you don't have too much to worry about when it comes to swimming this summer. Once a piercing is completely and fully healed, you can usually do all of the fun things with it. Now, that being said, healed piercings can sometimes deal with irritation as a side effect of swimming. When it comes to swimming in the ocean, Obviously, the ocean is pretty salty, and sometimes that salt can really dry your skin out and especially dry out your hair. If you've ever finished swimming in the ocean, you know that sometimes your skin, like, you can just feel the salt on you afterwards. That can sometimes get built up even around healed piercings, and for some clients, especially, like, things like stretched lobes or more sensitive piercings, and that can cause issues with drying. So even if your piercings are really well healed, make sure you're cleaning everything off thoroughly after you go swimming, especially in the ocean. Take some extra time to pop your plugs out, really wash and rinse your ears. Take time to really thoroughly clean around your piercings. Take the time to like really thoroughly get everything cleaned off and make sure you're not leaving any of that residue left over. And you might be thinking, well, what if I swim in a regular pool instead of the ocean, then it'll be fine. Well, chlorine can have the same drying effect. Um, it is a pretty harsh chemical. That's the power of chlorine. That's why it's keeping bacteria out of your pools. But it is also really strong of a chemical to have all over your skin or lingering in your piercings or in your hair, which then comes in contact with your ear piercings or certain facial piercings, and we deal with that irritation all over again. So if you have very healed piercings, please, please, please make sure that you're rinsing and cleaning and washing them very thoroughly after any swimming. Now the other thing is, of course, please use sun protection, especially if you are going to be outdoors. A lot of folks will forget this, and every year I deal with folks who have sunburn on their stretch lobes or sunburn that really causes their piercings to get angry, even as far as blistering and getting super, super, super upset. So please wear sunscreen. Uh, I do have a whole video about sunscreen when it comes to piercings. I will link it in the comments of this video, uh, and just please be safe. Now, healed piercings, those are really easy. Basically, they're healed. Your biggest thing is just going to be to clean yourself off thoroughly afterwards because anyone's skin can get irritated from leaving all of those chemicals or all that salt on your skin. But what about if we have piercings that are still healing? What do we do then? I know no one's going to like this answer, but the absolute best piece of advice that I can give you is don't swim. No, I know. It's not the advice you want to hear, but listen, there is a lot of bacteria in natural bodies of water, oceans, lakes, rivers, streams, all that stuff has quite a bit of bacteria, and that bacteria can be incredibly harmful for a healing piercing. There are over 90 million cases every year in the U.S. of stomach, respiratory, eye, or skin irritations and infections from swimming. 90 million. That is an incredible number. So we know that that bacteria is there. It can happen from agricultural pollution in inland lakes and rivers and streams. It can happen from fecal matter getting into water. It can happen from pollution after fresh rains and new bacteria that's introduced into the these waterways. So there's a lot of bacteria that can end up in our water and can end up in your piercing. It's really not a great idea to swim if you have a piercing that is still healing. And don't for one second think that just because you're going in a pool, it's magically going to be safer. Like I talked about with healed piercings, chlorine is still majorly irritating. And to a still healing piercing, it's incredibly irritating. I see folks who go swimming in chlorinated pools and come in all the time who have big bumps on their piercings from the chemicals in chlorine. Now, a lot of folks try and be clever and go, but Lynn, what about saltwater pools? Aren't those still safe? And they're not. They oftentimes can still harbor a lot of bacteria and the salt can still be just as drying. And I know that can be confusing for some folks because people will be like, well, I use saline to clean my piercings and that's salt and water. And the pool or the ocean is also salt and water. So why is swimming a bad idea? Well, A, uh, fish don't poop. 
and little kids don't pee in your saline that you're using. But B, the salinity of sterile saline wound wash is what's called isotonic. So it's the same salinity as what's in our body. And it's a very, very mild salinity. Oceans, saltwater pools, not only are they going to have not only are they going to have a bunch of other bacteria, but the salinity level, the content of salt to water is also incredibly diff different. And even just saline can be drying for some people's skin. So when we're talking about saltwater pools and the ocean, that's significantly more drying, which can cause some pretty bad irritations for your piercings. All of this being said, I did pierce in Florida for five years, and you cannot keep a Floridian out of the ocean come hell or high water. There is nothing that you can do to keep those people off of the beach. So if you're going to swim anyway, regardless of this video, here are some of my best tips and tricks. If it's possible, just don't submerge your piercing or get it wet. If you have a healing ear or nose piercing, just don't dunk your head underwater. You can still go in the pool, you can still go in the ocean, warn the people you're with, ask them if they could be careful about splashing you, and try and minimize water coming in contact with your piercings. But go in and just enjoy things a little bit more gently around those healing piercings. For piercings that are harder to deal with, like nipple and navel piercings or surface work, if you are completely adamant about swimming, you can use a waterproof bandage like a Tegaderm bandage to cover the piercing and try and protect it. If you're going to use a Tegaderm bandage, I suggest cutting down a small piece of gauze to put over your piercing, that way the adhesive isn't getting directly on the piercing, and using alcohol to clean the skin around the piercing, not not the piercing itself, the skin around the piercing, which will help the bandage adhere a little bit better. And that Tegaderm trick works really well for nipples, navels, and surface work. It, however, does not work well for areas that aren't super flat, so trying to cut Tegaderm and put it like on your nose or your lip or your ear is simply just not going to work out. If you are swimming, just like for healed piercings, please rinse everything off and clean everything really thoroughly, basically as soon as you can after you get out of the water. Go take a shower, wash your hair, make sure there's no lingering chemicals or salt or bacteria, clean your piercing really, really well and really thoroughly, and just try and really monitor it. Also, just go into it understanding the consequences. I, especially in my time in Florida, warned all of my clients about swimming in the beach and stuff, and I would still see clients come back who did swim and did end up with a ton of irritation and issues, sometimes to the point that they did have to lose the piercing, uh, and they were always pretty upset and pretty bummed, and it was like, you know, we warned you about this, you knew going into it. I had one client, I will never forget, we did a VCH piercing for her, which was a genital piercing, and she went swimming literally that week, came back two months later, still fighting with a really bad irritation bump that had cropped up a couple days after she went swimming, uh, and there was nothing we could do for it. We had to remove it. And she was so, so upset. Piercers tell you these things and warn you about these things for a reason. We don't want to see you have to lose your piercings or deal with those irritations, and we understand that those are risks. One other big piece of advice, especially if you're planning on swimming in a natural body of water, is to check bacteria levels. Most beaches and lakes have a website that you can go to and you can see what the bacteria level is for the area. If it's a high bacteria level, please don't swim if you have any healing piercings. Wait for a day when there's a low bacteria level. The same applies for algae, especially for folks who live in the south, especially for folks in Florida. Algae blooms basically all year round have become a problem. Um, so please make sure you're checking online to see the safety of the water at the beach or at the lake that day and make smart decisions about when you choose to swim. I like to offer these tips to help minimize irritation and issues because again, I understand that just telling folks not to swim uh, is not necessarily always going to do anything. But on the flip side, if you do take this advice and you end up going swimming and you still end up with a really bad irritation bump or things like that on your piercing, uh, I am legally allowed to tell you I told you so at least once, as is your piercer. Just letting you know. 
But that's just some of my best baseline information when it comes to swimming with your piercings and healing piercings, just to let you prep for summertime. I do have a blog post all about this on my website if you would like to read a little bit more in depth and read some of my other tips and tricks when it comes to swimming. And if you have any good questions about swimming with piercings or there's anything else you'd like to know, as always, leave them in the comments down below. If you like this content and you like what I'm putting out, it would mean the world to me if you would hit like and subscribe to my channel. I always love getting to sit down and talk about this stuff with y'all, and I cannot wait till we chat again soon. Bye!